Hi, I'm Suzanne Madsen. Welcome to this whiteboard session on how to prioritize requirements with the Moscow Technique. In the Moscow Technique, the M stands for a must-have requirement. It is non-negotiable. We must have it. The S stands for a should-have requirement. If at all possible, we should have it. The C stands for a could-have requirement. It's not essential, but we could have it if we have extra time or extra budget. And the W stands for something that we will not have this time around. You see, on most projects, we talk about something that is either in scope or out of scope. Using the Moscow Technique gives you a more granular view, and it helps you make sure that you deliver the top, top priorities to your clients first. Let's look at an example. Imagine that you are the project manager for a conference. You sit down with your stakeholders and you ask them, what must there be for this conference? What are all your must-have requirements? And your client says, OK, we must have a venue within five kilometers of the city center. OK, what should we have, if at all possible? Well, we should really have a goodie bag for each delegate to walk away with. OK, what could we have? Well, let me think. We could have several tracks of speakers, but really it's not that important. It's a nice to have. If we have extra time and budget, let's do it. What will we not have? We will not have any alcohol at the event. And you do that with all of the requirements. But the power of Moscow is you can also use it at a more detailed level to look at the features of a requirement. Let's take an example with a goodie bag. Imagine that you have now delegated that to Dan. And Dan would like to know what your expectations are. So Dan asks you, what must there be in the goodie bags when I deliver them? And you say, OK, we must have a copy of the conference program. Fine. What should we have in there? Well, we should really have a branded item, maybe like a pen or something like that. OK, what um, could we have in there? Well, we could have something sweet, but it's a nice to have. It's really not essential. What will we not have? And you decide that you will not have any soft drinks or water because it will make the bag too heavy. So you see, you can use Moscow at a very high level, but also at a low level. When you use it at the low level, it helps you to delegate the tasks better. Thank you for watching. Please visit us again at projectmanager.com.